So I have a couple of videos now on the Luxata Tower Stove, testing out whether or not I can get it to gasify. And I'll put the links to the videos either up in the corner or at the end if you're interested in seeing those tests. But there were two more tests I wanted to do, and I'm going to do one of those today, and that is the Tower Stove with wood pellets. If you're interested in seeing if this will work with wood pellets, keep watching. So in the recent video where I tried again to get the Luxata Tower Stove to gasify using a plate, made with stainless steel and holes in it, I said I would also do some testing with wood pellets. Well, I tested out this with wood pellets and I found that the holes in this, while they kept a lot of the pellets in, pellets were still dropping through, especially as they were consumed, they, uh, the smaller pellets dropped through. It's not the end of the world, but I wanted to see if I can keep any of the wood pellets from dropping through the bottom of the plate. So I found another piece of stainless steel material that I also count cut into a round uh, plate and you'll see what's different about this is two things. One, the holes are smaller, so they should be small enough to keep the pellets from dropping through, but also it has a bit of a corrugated thing. So there will be airflow coming around the holes and uh, hopefully it's just enough airflow for the wood pellets to burn, but not so much airflow that the pellets fall through. All right, so what I'll do is I'll set the stove up with wood pellets. I'll bring you back and we'll light it up and we'll give it a few minutes for the pellets to engage and then we'll see whether or not the pellets gasify and if they will bring water to a boil. Okay, I have loaded the burn chamber with wood pellets, about a cup and a half, I think. I didn't actually measure this. Looks like it will hold about two cups of wood pellets, so that'd be a substantial load of wood pellets. I'm just making a little bit of a divot in the bur or the center of the pellets because what I'm using to get them started is a fuel, uh, what is this called? It's an ethanol based naturalized, it's a kind of like a gel alcohol that is used for fire starting. I guess you could probably use it directly to cook with, but uh, just try a little bit in there, maybe a tablespoon. I'm going to light that after I drop it down inside the burn chamber. Let's go like this first. Right. I'll light this. And like all alcohol, hard to see in the daylight. So we're not going to see much for a few minutes here. So what I will do is uh, cut away and bring you back. Because what I find with pellets, it doesn't matter how you light them. Uh, it takes a little while for them to really engage. So it's not the fastest way to bring water to a boil. I guess the, the benefit is, besides the fact that you have dry fuel that you can use in places where you can't use other fuels, is the fact that they give a nice heat and a very clean burn as well, for the most part. Again, that's one of the things we're testing here. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to engage. I'll show you what the flames look like. We'll put some water on and we'll see if we can't bring it to a boil. And we'll see whether or not this is actually going to gasify with wood pellets. Okay, I thought I'd provide you a bit of an update on what's taking place. Uh, in order to save time, I uh, went ahead and put the water on top of the stove just so I can make use of most of the heat that's being produced even while the pellets are still engaging and the pellets are fully engaged now and I will show you a top-down look inside the stove in a minute but uh, I just wanted to show you what the burn looks like from this angle so here's an observation that um, I'm not too crazy about what it is is the pellets are burning well they are burning very well and I think you'll see that we have gasification going when I show it to you from the top down but the flame is not really extending up very high inside of the tower portion of the stove or the pot stand portion of the stove. It is licking up, it is touching the bottom of the pot, but it's not remaining in full contact with the bottom of the pot, not on, at a constant rate. So I, I have the feeling this is going to slow down the boil considerably. Uh, but that's what we'll see. So I'll leave it go a couple of minutes more, see how if it does bring the water to a boil. But of course, I am going to show you what the burn looks like down inside. All right, let's have a look and see what we have at this point. So it's only been a few minutes since I gave you that update. Uh, water is bubbling. Bubbles are rising off the bottom. I hope you saw that. But not a rolling boil yet. Uh, still, actually, that's quite uh, quite encouraging. Let's have a look down inside. All right, that looks good. I believe we can say we have full gasification taking place. If you look down inside, you'll see you, there are no active flames coming off of the wood pellets themselves. All the flame appears to be generated at the secondary ports. So that could be 
easily identified as full gasification. Do you know, I was reading where uh, some people will say you don't get real pure gasification unless you can see a layer of bluish grayish smoke sitting on top of the fuel, which is then rises and mixes with the air and ignites. Well, that may be true. That may be the, the best definition of gasification, but, uh, and I'd invite anybody to comment on that if they'd like. But from what I understand, we have pyrolysis going on down at the level of fuel, and that uh, release combustible gases are being ignited at the jets. It's a nice, clean burn. There's not a bit of smoke coming out of that. My only concern is that it's not reaching up very high. So, uh, you know, this may not be the best stove for using pellets on. However, I'm wasting a bit of time and heat here. Let's put this back on and see if it does come to a boil. And uh, I'll report that. So, was I able to bring two cups of water to a boil? Let's check. And the answer is yes. It's not a super hard rolling boil, but a good boil, just the same. And what does it look like inside of the stove? Still a very clean burn taking place. The pellets are getting pretty much consumed, but still a very clean burn. Okay. It wasn't a speed demon, but it did bring water to a boil, and it did gasify. So that was the results of this test. Let's wrap this video up. So is it possible to get the Luxata Tower stove to gasify with wood pellets? Yes, it is. In fact, uh, it worked really well. The wood pellets we saw in the video had full gasification taking place, and that was made possible by that small metal plate that I had dropped inside. I think it did two things. One, it kept the pellets from dropping through, which is what the original intent was, but I think it also slowed the airflow to a point where the burn didn't happen too quickly. Is it worthwhile doing, though? That's the better question. Well, I did put that pot of water on. I did get it to come to a boil, but it took a lot longer than it would have with wood. So it is an alternative fuel that you can use in the tower stove, but is it worthwhile? Well, I found that wood pellets work well in some stoves. I wouldn't say it's something I'm going to carry for the Luxata tower stove. I think I'll just stay burning wood with it. All right, I have one more test I'm going to do with this. Hopefully it's the last of the tests, unless you come up with something else you want me to, want me to do. And that is to use charcoal in it. So until I put that video together, get out and explore and take that path less travel. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.